Where is Halo MCC Season 6 and what is the holdup? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we recently had the flight for Season 6, got to play around some of the content, some of the features, but not all of the features that have been promised for Season 6. And according to 343, new seasons were supposed to be coming around every two months. Well, the last season, Season 5, which we currently have right now actually, was released on January 27th. So two months later would be March 27th, but we haven't heard anything about a release date or anything in that form. So where is Season 6 and what's the holdup? Well, in this video, I'm going to take a nice deep dive into that information. So if you guys like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. Season 6 also looks to be a massive upgrade for the MCC. We're getting some new armor sets from Halo Online, as well as a new feature of the exchange, a new way for you to earn your season points and spend them within the MCC so you don't just stockpile everything for the next season. But I know the big feature everyone's really been looking forward to for season six, which they said was gonna be part of it, was the custom game browser. Originally, it was supposed to kind of come halfway through the last flight that we had, but the flight has come and gone. We never got a chance to play with the custom game browser. Ever since then, 3 for 3 has been kind of hush-hush on exactly what the holdup is all about, when can we see it and what's going to be coming around with it. I mean, we do know some parts about the custom game browser, certainly, but we definitely don't know why it's been taking so long. Last thing we heard about the custom game browser was from Friday's development update saying we will hopefully have some more news in the coming weeks around custom game browser and the work that is being done that postponed it from being in the flight. But I definitely think players will be pleasantly surprised with what the publishing team has planned around it and when you can expect to get some hands on time. We'll have some news in the coming weeks, which makes me think that I don't feel like the custom game browser is going to be releasing with season six, which certainly is a bummer, but it does kind of fall in line with what, uh, you know, 343 has been saying about the MCC as a whole as it's ready when it's ready. And I don't feel like you should delay an entire season for multiple weeks just to have a custom game browser. Because think of this as well, they definitely need to flight the custom game browser before implementing it into the game, which the flight itself is at least a week or even two week long process. And then traditionally with MCC, about a week or two after the flight is when the next update finally comes around for us. So we could potentially wait a whole month for the season six for the custom game browser. I don't think that's gonna happen. This might get pushed back into season seven. Of course, we will know more on Friday with the development update, but he said in the coming weeks, we'll know some more information. So it doesn't sound very promising. So I do have a feeling that 343 might be trying to readjust what's gonna come with season six. I think the custom game browser is gonna be left out of the update, bringing in the exchange, which is a way for you to spend your seasonal points. It's almost like an MCC store in a way, but the store is completely free. You only use seasonal points. A better description was recently in development update for MCC talking about the exchange saying when we began designing the season point exchange we had two primary goals in mind first we wanted to create more incentive for players to engage in our progression system and afford them more choices in what they unlock second we wanted to create an opportunity for players with surplus season points to spend them on items they may have missed out initially. As an additional goal, we also wanted to minimize the fear of missing out or FOMO associated with this experience. But what you can expect to see was recently put up in the flight and I have an example right here showcasing a week of different kind of items you can buy at the top, as well as a nice little package feature deal, which they say this is gonna be kind of a constant thing. The package is probably gonna be like a, for the whole season, and then also the week, weekly rotational items that you can purchase as well with seasonal points. In this, you'll probably see items like the recon skin eventually, and also kind of different kinds of rank up skins that you had for your weapons and stuff like that. Maybe some challenges that are no longer in the game, say like maybe like the mongoose skin to earn the hazard pay. Once season five goes away, you won't be able to earn that hazard pay skin anymore. The likely you see that within the game. 
Now you probably heard me say about the ranked level requirement well, weapons skins being available within the exchange. Well, they did state here that they also want to have one season cooldown for all the items. Now they didn't exactly specify if it was a one season past season cooldown or the current season is the one season cooldown. But essentially they're saying that you'll be able to enjoy your content exclusivity of it for at least two months. And they currently don't have plans to put in the like rank 20 skins that you've had for various game modes within MCC into the seasonal exchange. Though they do state that they do seem to kind of plan on doing that later, but not right now. I think that what they need to do is kind of reassess assess point values and how to implement them in certain ways to make it so people who grinded the hell out of say recon slayer and squad battles within halo 4 that they don't feel completely cheated out from that experience because that's a lot of pain a lot of heartache to go through just to get a weapon skin and then have it be in the store for someone just to purchase for you know, a decent amount of points, it's a little disheartening for people to play that. So there's a very fine line 343 needs to ride on, on the accessibility, be able to pay for that stuff with a reasonable amount of points, but also not making it super easy to completely make it so then people will just wait for it to come in the season store, you know what I mean? So this is all good information all, but when can we expect season six? Tell me, when can I play season six? Well, the last season, season five, released on January 27th, which actually was a Wednesday, a little bit of a different cadence than what we had previously, but that was really the first season that we had that didn't involve a new game coming in, which generally big patch updates like that come on Tuesdays. This came on a Wednesday, so I'm expecting the season six to come around on a Wednesday as well, as that's the weekly challenge update cadence that we have right now with the MCC is every Wednesday, the seasonal, every Wednesday, the weekly challenges update at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I could totally expect to see this dropping on a Wednesday. So season six, I have a feeling will not have custom game browser at launch. It will have the exchange and all the new armor sets for Halo Online, along with the cool animated nameplates and stuff like that. All the good stuff we get to enjoy for the game, along with the new map waterfall as well, as we do know Edge will not be added into the season six launch. I'm expecting to see the release date come out on March 31st, which is a Wednesday as well, which would fall in line with the previous one. It's just about two months after the release of season five without the custom game browser, sadly. Of course, we may know more about this once the Friday development update rolls out. But I think 343 is being a little reserved and trying to announce when the next season's coming around because they really want to try to make the custom game browser come around for season six. If there's some kind of workaround or some kind of delay that they know they can fit within a reasonable time frame, could totally work. That's one way that could possibly make the custom game browser part of season six. So I have a feeling they might have to delay it maybe like a mid-season six patch or maybe like a se season seven update I see the custom game browser. Because these updates require a lot of coordination, a lot of work, and honestly, a lot of time and money as well. So they wanna make sure that when you do update the game, you get as many updates as you can implemented in there. So I do expect to still see season six this month. Custom game browser is still up in the air, but we'll know more later. So thank you so much for watching guys. I greatly appreciate it. If you wanna see more content from me or been on the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.